How to check your Google ad account performance. Super important that even if you have somebody else doing your Google ads, that you're going in and checking to see what's happening and what's going on inside of your account. So you're going to go to ads.google.com and you're going to look at something like this. You might have to click on campaigns or all campaigns to get here, but you should be able to see your campaigns and you're going to see them all listed. Now you might have to look at all enabled, you might have to check this if you don't see all of them and look at all or enabled and paused to be able to see every single one of your campaigns. But we're going to look at some of the metrics just at a quick glance right here. We're showing impressions, which this is how many times your ad showed up, but it didn't necessarily get a click. And this is an actual click, 182 clicks in the last 30 days. Now keep in mind too, you also have this metric right here where you can search the last 30 days, uh, last week, last 14 days, whatever you want to search for. A lot of the times I'll look for that month or last 30 days or whatever the case may be. So I'm looking at, this is how much we're budgeting per day. That doesn't mean we're going to spend that, but that's how much we're telling Google we'll spend up to. The impressions that we got, this is the amount of clicks of actual unique traffic. Now this campaign in particular is set totally to go just to people in that area, right? Um, but 175 unique people stayed on his website for at least, what is it, 10 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever that minimum is. Um, interaction rate, 7.33% of the people interacted, which is pretty good. That means the ad's pretty good. Average cost, $8.11. This is how much you spent over the last 30 days. Uh, now, this is the other really, really important metric to look at in general. 85% of the clicks that he had were absolute, or I'm sorry, 70% were absolute on top. 85% were within the top three. So some of these can be used to improve, be improved a little bit, but look, look at some of those metrics in just a little bit. Optimization score. I'm going to let you know that this is really mostly a score that Google uses to make you feel good or bad about what you're doing in the account. It's mostly there to get you to spend more money, pay little to no attention to this. Uh, you know, sometimes it's worth looking at, but, but really most of these recommendations they give you are just going to spend your money and not necessarily even make you money, to be honest with you. So, uh, take that with a huge grain of salt. But this is something that's very important. We look at this all the time and we'll look at that in more detail here in just a second. Now I want to click on the actual campaign and look at the ads and, and the actual keywords and see actually what happened. So here we've got generally what we've got set for the keyword terms, average cost for tile clicks, 760, hardwood, 845. And this is the amount that you actually spent again in the last 30 days. You can change that and see different time periods. This is how many clicks we got. In other words, the actual individual people that went uniquely, unique people that went to that website. Uh, and again, we're showing more metrics of absolute top and absolute impression. So 73% number one, 85% in the top three, right? So this is pretty good. Some of that could be used to uh, be improved, but let's look at the biggest campaign out of this, which would be hardwood. And we'll check this out. This is the amount that we're bidding for each one. This is the amount of impressions that you got and the amount of clicks that you got in each one. Now, the other really important thing that I like to look at is, again, the impressions on the top and the impressions top percent. So impressions ABS means absolute on top. So 64% of the time, we showed up number one, 87% of the time in the top three. Now, just recently, I did actually, just today, I, I increased that amount per click to try to get him a little bit higher because that's a pretty good money buying keyword right there. Try to get him just a little bit higher, so we increased that just a little bit. So hardwood floor cleaning, 78%. 92%. 92% is about as good as you can get. Sometimes you can get a tiny bit better, but 92% is really good. And we're spending $9 a click on that. Um, so that's just kind of how you look at what some of the metrics are. And that's kind of where you're at, what you're doing with these clicks. Now, when you're looking at these keywords, let me show you one other really, really important thing to check regularly. It's going to be your search terms. You're going to look at this and then you're going to want to see what people actually search for, what you actually paid for. The other things are the, the other thing list that we just looked at, search keywords, are merely kind of the bids that you were putting in and the keywords you're going after. But you might have a variation, especially with your keywords and quotes, which are what I recommend. You might have a variation. Uh, so we're going to actually look at the search terms. So 
we want to make sure that these are the terms that we want to show up for. So regularly part of the monitoring is this, and this is something that even you should look for if somebody else is doing your Google ads. Um, this Part of the refining process is looking through these and negativing out the keywords that you actually don't want to show up for. So that's basically it, guys. You want to just get in here and regularly check based on the last week, based on the last day if you want. You can change it to the last seven days, whatever it may be. You want to check those metrics. You want to look at how many clicks you're getting. And then you want to, you want to test. You also do want to test different landing pages. You want to test different keywords. You want to make sure that you've got the best buying intent keywords. It's an overall refining process. And Google AdWords can be really, really good when you do it right.